Hi, I'm Scott Case, the CEO of the Startup America Partnership, and I'm just thrilled to see the progress we've made in just our first year here across the entire country. In fact, right now, 15 states are hosting fantastic events that have become startup regions with over 3,000 people attending all across the country. It was only a year ago today that the Startup America Partnership was launched at the White House with our partners, the Case Foundation and the Kauffman Foundation, really leading the way. Hi, I'm Steve Case, and I want to talk to you about Startup America that we're proud to be announcing uh, today. Startups are the center of everything we do at Startup America. And the reason is that startups that grow are the job creators in America. In fact, all the net new jobs created in the last 30 years were created by companies less than five years old. Companies just like the ones sitting in the room around you. And that's the basis for everything that we do at the Startup America Partnership. America's always been a nation of doers. We build things. We take risks. And we believe that if you have a good idea and are willing to work hard enough, you can turn that idea into a successful business. We also helped launch something called the Startup America Partnership to connect these entrepreneurs with private companies and get them the resources they need, from mentorship opportunities to leads on potential customers. In March, I jumped right in as the CEO of Startup America Partnership and did some speaking engagements at Demo in the spring and went on to South by Southwest. And we started to road test some very core ideas about how the Startup America Partnership was going to help America's entrepreneurs. The first idea was to bring partners together that could provide specific resources to help startups grow. The second core idea was partnering with leading entrepreneurs in regions across the country to work to help strengthen their ecosystems. And finally, how could we celebrate the amazing startups from all across the country and help them raise their visibility and ultimately raise their game? We began with our partners and started to think, okay, what kind of partnerships do we want to bring? And we identified five key areas that we felt every startup could benefit from. Expertise, support services, talent, customers, and capital. And in April, we announced our first round of partnerships from companies like American Express and Microsoft, Intuit, Ernst & Young, and many more. And together, they collected over $400 million in in-kind resources that could help America's startups grow. We then were approached by the amazing people in the state of Illinois, including Governor Quinn, Brad Keywell, and Kevin Willer, and launched Startup Illinois, the first state to take on the idea of elevating the startup game in their area. It was quickly followed by the leadership of Michael Burcham and Governor Haslam in the state of Tennessee when Startup Tennessee launched and laid the groundwork for many other states, many of the ones that are watching this video right now. Finally, we began to tell startup stories in venues like Tycon, where we told the stories of great companies like Dropbox and many others, and began to broadcast those out so people could see what were some of the great startups that were happening. In fact, we partnered with many accelerators around the country to bring four amazing startups to the first ever CGI America. And one of those startups got to stand up in front of a thousand people and pitch President Clinton on their great idea. This past summer, we were honored to announce our All Entrepreneur Board, made up of amazing startup professionals who have had great success. Awesome entrepreneurs like Tori Birch, Nina Vaca, and Lynn Jurek, and Michael Dell, Kevin Plank, Reed Hastings, Reed Hoffman, Fred Smith, Raul Fernandez, Magic Johnson, and Pamela Contag. We also announced our first four major corporate sponsors, American Express Open, Dell, Microsoft, and Intuit, all stepped up to help Startup America expand our work and raise our game even higher. And we're incredibly grateful for their support. In September, we partnered with Microsoft and Startup Weekend to do the first ever Mega Startup Weekend. 300 entrepreneurs got together to create 30 teams creating companies in just two days. Three of those companies, one from each track of education, healthcare, and games, got to participate in Demo Fall, where they got to pitch investors. And one of them got a chance at the demo stage to pinch over 400 investors on their newly formed company, only days old. We also launched our platform, the first time we were able to connect startups with the amazing partners we had already connected. And finally, we pitched and launched our next round of partners, $330 million in resources from Leadmaster, Dell, and Dun & Bradstreet. We then went on and saw some amazing new startup regions get launched. Startup Connecticut, led by Danny Breer, and Startup Massachusetts under the leadership of Corey Bolotsky. The launch of Startup Connecticut and Startup Massachusetts really set the stage for four more states to join the Startup America Partnership. First was Startup Colorado, 
led by Brad Feld and many great entrepreneurs in the state of Colorado. We then saw Startup Florida launch with Susan Amat leading the way in Launchpad at the University of Miami. Next, we saw Startup Texas launch under the great leadership of John Price. And finally, Chris Renaud kicked things off at the Startup Iowa launch in Des Moines. It's been amazing to see these startups and uh, come together under the leadership of some fantastic serial entrepreneurs all across the country. We also created a new kind of partnership with General Electric where we launched a great program called the Startup Corporate Connections. The idea behind the program is to connect America's largest companies with America's fastest growing startups to help those startups grow and get access to new markets, new knowledge, and ultimately potentially customers. Last December, we had a fantastic board meeting at the White House. It was the first time our board members had gotten together in person. We met with the president, we met with leading cabinet officials, including those from the Small Business Administration, as well as Commerce, where we talked about the importance of startups and the startup economy. We also announced that we had crossed the $1.2 billion mark in in-kind resources. We announced new partnerships with Emma, NetSuite, and many others that have helped us grow and create even more resources for America's startups. We kicked 2012 off with a real bang at the Consumer Electronics Show, where we brought four great startups to be part of CES's inaugural Eureka Park. They were able to profile their businesses and get all kinds of access to great contacts, and we're going to continue that partnership into the next year. We also began to connect our startups with great experts in the field. We started with pitch coaching by the great Nathan Golden, and he's been helping startups refine their pitch and get their stories down. We're also connecting with great VCs. We've done a VC roundtable every week where startups can ask questions about capital formation. As we go into 2012, we're going to continue to expand those programs to connect more startups with more experts to help them across all the things that they need to help them grow their companies. Our mantra at the Startup America Partnership is simple. Startups plus growth equals a strong startup economy that ultimately leads to jobs and a greater future for all of us. As we look to 2012, we're going to focus our energy bringing in new partnerships, helping you and the regions grow and become stronger, and to help tell the stories of America's great startups. To that end, we've got things planned, including South by Southwest, bringing together our startup leaders in February in, uh, in Miami to learn from each other, and to ultimately, my hope is to get to know all the folks in our new startup regions, including D.C., Hawaii, Kansas, Michigan, Missouri, Nebraska, Rhode Island, Virginia, and Vermont. I hope to get out there and meet all of you and to learn more about the amazing things that you're doing. As I said, startups are at the center of everything we do at Startup America. We're focused on making them the heroes that they are, and every startup in the room really deserves a lot of credit. In fact, if you're a startup or starting a company, I want you to stand up right now, especially you guys in the back. Stand up. For everybody else in the room, let's give them a round of applause. They are the heroes of our economy, and let's celebrate them. Together, we can start up America.